What is good, YouTube? Adam over here from Shipping Vintage, shippingvintage.com. And today, let's ship something. So we're gonna be shipping a glass piece. Uh, I'm just gonna show you how I do it. So that's the order right here. Salt, blue cut glass, cover dish. So it's two pieces. And I have it right here next to me. There it is, 30 bucks, it's sold, that's shipping. So let's ship it out. Here is the bottom piece of the glass. The top piece is already packaged here. You can see how it's done. So, so simple, you take bubble wrap, big or small. I got both, so I'm using the big one because it's this heavy glass and it's very sharp too. And, and sharp glass, when you touch it, it's sharp. It means it's cut glass. Um, so we just bubble it up like this and then put the cardboard around it in the bubble wrap and it can even stick out here i just make sure top and bottom and this side is safe you can go one more here but this is good because the oversized cardboard trick so scrap cardboard when you size boxes down you keep that you save it fold it over same way as the bubble wrap that's how i do it and then just tape it up and make it nice and tight so it doesn't move, all right? Just tape it up and now I'm gonna tape the sides so they, because right now this, this thing could just fall out out of the side. So we just tape both sides across and we're gonna have something like this. And then those two can go together inside the box. Important for shipping area, good lightning so you can see what you're doing and big working area nice for shipping helps too so this picture here jesus i also have to ship it today it's always a great day when you find the perfect box for the stuff you gotta ship <laughs> and this box is a little bigger but we can size it down but it's perfect look this package goes right in enough i can don't even need paper and the second one goes on top and we're gonna size it down so it's nice and tight and everything is held together i could even take these two i have an idea make it even safer stretch wrap this is a must have if you're shipping stuff it's very helpful it helps you keep things together so i stretch wrap all the electronics cords to the unit so it doesn't flap around and we're gonna stretch wrap these two together so they're more secure yeah stretch wrap there it is so we gotta size the box down and it's gonna be done another important tool to have is the box sizer box sizer lets you size down boxes so stuff can fit nice and tight and you might save on shipping as well with smaller box so i just size this one down we just need to fold it over one hand <laughs> size down nice here it is ready to be shipped just needs the label that's how you ship glass no peanuts all right let's ship jesus now so it's same so because this is a little moving it's not solid piece there is a little bit of movement in the frame so i'm gonna stretch wrap the whole picture around to keep it all together nicely safe and then bubble wrap it and then wrap it in cardboard and be ready to go let's do it so jesus is all packaged up and we have this box here 18 12 by 6 but we're gonna just see how it fits over jesus we're gonna make it like an envelope for the G. We're gonna wrap Jesus around like the glass piece. I don't need the whole box, a little piece. This is gonna be scrap. We use it for packing glass next time. And then this just close it up, tape it up, fold in the sides of the box and shrink wrap it and put a label. <laughs> and here it is ready for the label, see? A box flattened and wrapped around, bubble wrap, stretch wrap, ready to go. It's Adam from Shipping Vintage, shippingvintage.com.
So that's how it's shipped. Thank you all for watching and you see me in the next video.